cancer which was a dreadful disease two decades back i no more call it as a dreadful disease off late with the advent of the technology and the cancer anti cancer agents and treatment what is available in the present time you are able to cure in a cross section around 70 to 80% of the patients earlier two decades back this to be only 20 to 30% now we are able to cure almost 60 to 80% of the cases what we are diagnosing these days in other words the technology in the radiation oncology the anti cancer drugs which are available the targeted uh, treatment what you call these days which are going to target only the cancer cells and the uh, amount of surgical uh, uh, changes what was happening uh, what is happening now in the sense that earlier we used to take out the entire uh, affected part of the body which is developed cancer now we don't do any more we just do a resection of that particular uh, part of the body which has developed cancer and rest of the body uh, would be taken care by radiation therapy and chemotherapy that is called organ and function preservation in the sense that you develop a tumor in the upper arm for example you are going to resect only the tumor part and you are not going to take out the entire arm or the limb similarly the lower limb or upper limb wherever you develop a bone cancer or a soft tissue sarcoma or a muscle cancer you are no more going to amputate the limb but you are only going to do resection of that particular lump and take care with chemo and radiation therapy and you are going to have the organ preserved totally For example a breast cancer you develop a breast cancer earlier we used to do total removal of the breast these days we don't need to do a total removal of the breast we just take out the lump and then you uh, you preserve the breast in total and we simultaneously we are curing the disease so we are not compromising on the quantity of life in in terms of curative we are definitely curing and simultaneously preserving majority of the uh, organs uh, in the body cancer is mainly dealt by uh, uh, surgery radiation therapy and chemotherapy so surgery as a uh, surgery is mainly has changed a lot in the recent times uh, from the radical surgeries of removing the parts and the limbs to conserving the parts and the limbs that means to say it's only take out the affected part part of the affected part and not the entire part as such so you are preserving the organ and only resecting out the tumor now the chemotherapy is the second type of modality of treatment where you use anti cancer agents to deal with the cancer cells in the body these chemotherapy drugs uh, will not allow the cells grow from one part of the body to other parts of the body that means to say it does not allow the tumor to spread these are anti cancer agents these are 90% of these drugs are given intravenously that means through the veins in in by way of uh, infusions or by adding into the saline or dextrose and these agents are get into the blood circulation and they attack the cancer cells wherever they are in the body so these are anti cancer agents so these are quite toxic drugs and this apart from doing good to the body it does have some side effects in the sense that you might have hair loss you might have a soreness in the oral cavity you might feel weak your bone marrow might be suppressed your blood cells like red blood cells white blood cells might come down so in the process your immunity of the body would come down when you use chemotherapy for treating cancer but these things are very temporary and these most of the patients would recover within a week's time with the uh, the side effects of the chemotherapy would be recovered in a week or 10 days time and subsequently normally these chemotherapies are done every 3 weeks that means every 21 days so when you give chemotherapy to a patient it might be a day it might be 2 days or 5 days and subsequently patient might will feel weak for a week and subsequently he is expected to recover it takes another 2 weeks for him to recover and third week again he goes for the second cycle normally chemotherapy is given for 4 to 6 cycles at every 21 day interval there has been phenomenal changes in the radiation therapy treatment earlier patients used to have lot of side effects and ill effects of radiation therapy uh, with a poor technology with the advent of the latest computer technology the, uh, the treatment of radiation per se has become very very minimally toxic and very highly efficient and precise so you have very least toxic side effects and you have 
very high doses delivered to the tumor proper. So with the radiation therapy, we are able to cure majority of the cancers with the minimal side effects these days. Now cancer is mainly treated by surgery, radiation therapy and chemotherapy. So every patient may not require all the three modalities of treatment. Some patients might require only surgery and radiation. Some patients would require chemotherapy alone. Some patients might require all the three modalities of treatment. In that situation, how the patient has to decide what to be, what could be the best option and what could be the uh, way he should go about, whether surgery has to be first or chemotherapy has to be first or radiation has to be first. So for that, ideally, we uh, the, uh, there is a board called a tumor board where you have three modalities of uh, a doctor sitting together or the three specialists like radiation oncologist, medical oncologist and surgical oncologist all sitting together and deciding the mode of a uh, treatment or uh, examining the patient combinedly and coming to a consensus and telling you what is truly scientific without an without a bias of individual speciality this would certainly uh, help the patient to get a comprehensive unbiased scientific opinion what is the best option in that particular type of tumor in that particular type of patient so that would certainly would give a better results and a better outcome.